Kathleen from One Hope is here. Yes, ma'am. But basically, this is going over your rights as one of our clients. 
Yeah. It's letting you know that this is a voluntary program, which means that legally, UCF cannot make you work with us. Okay. If at any point you decide, I don't want to do this anymore, you have every right to say that. Tell me. Another one of your rights is if you feel like we're not doing our job, you can call this number to let them know. Tell me. I'm not anticipating an issue, but if you Google One Hope United, you will have access to this number. Yeah, because, um, because uh, you know, like I said, um, Max Dubion, mm -hmm. he uh, said that he was going to help me with um, Hope Florida, the one that started with uh, uh, Governor DeSantis' wife, mm -hmm. but then, you know, nothing came out of it. And just, I just keep, I, I'm just so frustrated with all the paperwork that I need to go through, you know? Yeah. I'm just trying to get on my feet, you know, talk to right. my family. Right. <coughs> well, our responsibility is to see you for once a week, for about six to eight weeks. The visits are pretty short, and we can meet you wherever is most convenient. Okay. Um, and our responsibility is to provide whatever resources and referrals that we can for you have. Your responsibility is to let us see you once a week, and once we've given you information or made a referral, it's up to you if you want to do anything with Okay. It. Okay, that sounds good. If, if that all sounds okay, we could get a print and sign for me, and you could just above start yeah, over. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Well, I, I just want to be a good father and yeah. be able to make my family happy and provide for them, you know? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's been so hard for me, and... Well, hopefully we will give you as much support as possible to do that. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Now, this is going over your rights to privacy. Are you familiar with HIPAA? Uh, yes. So, you know, basically, it's, we are under HIPAA. We can't share your information or the kids' information without your permission. If there's something that involves a referral, we will have you sign a piece of paper getting your permission to do that. Okay. Do you have questions about that? No. Okay. Then I'm going to get you to print and sign again above your brother's signature. <laughs> Yeah, he just likes to, you know, he, he, he likes to make people happy, you know, yeah. and when people ask him to do something, you know, he does it, man. Yeah, um, we got to the part where I asked about the, the kids, and he's like, I don't have kids, and I was like, hmm, I don't know if this is the right person then. Okay, so this is where we got to. Um, this is a survey. I... We will give you the same survey at the end of our time together as well, and okay. it's just so we can assess if we were doing our job. Okay. So it's not a reflection on you at all, it's a reflection on us. So, how old are you? I'm uh, 54, I think. Let me see, 2000, and I was born in 1968, 76, 68. So, this is 2000, I'm 55. Okay. Um, and your brother said he was divorced. <laughs> no, um, no, are he, you are you married? Yes, I'm married. Okay. <laughs> he's 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 not he's he has never you know he's yeah sick he's a yeah. Do you he own, thinks like a child. Do you own or rent this house? Uh, it's rented under my brother's name. Oh, okay. I I don't have the you know the capability of paying this. Yeah, my brother lives in. Um, how much, and this is a best guess, how much do you guys make per year? Well, I'm on disability. Okay. So, I'm going to guess that it's probably Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. My, my wife just came over from Vietnam and she got pregnant yeah. and, you know, right now uh, she's training to be a nail technician. Okay. So, you know, right now I'm going to pay you. What is your highest level of education? I have some college. I went to college for. And do you guys have food stamps? Yes. Medicaid? Uh, I have Medicaid and the children have Medicaid. My wife don't have any kind of insurance because she just came over here. Right. I won't be there. Um, so with your kids, the oldest is a girl, yes. right? When yes. is her birthday? Uh, her birthday is 420, 2020. Okay, and then your baby girl? Uh, that's Emily. She's uh, born on 6 6 2023. Oh, wow. She's so little. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the 
the next two pages refer to your statement, and I want you to circle the answer that best represents you and your family. Now, I can give this to you to fill out, or I can ask you the question. Yeah. What, what do you prefer? Well, what, whatever you like. You, you can read it to me, and you can fill it out. Okay. In my family, we talk about problems. Always. I, I want that input, you know. Yeah. When we argue, my family listens to both sides of the story. I listen to both sides of the story. My wife, she, you know, <laughs> it's only her side. So, so which, which number do you think best reflects that? Well, half the time. Okay. In my family, we take time to listen to each other. Well, like I said, I listen, <laughs> I listen to her all the time, but she never listens to me. My family pulls together when things are stressful. Well, I think it's uh, frequently very six. Yeah. My family is able to solve our problems. Wow, well, not really, because you know, I mean, we, we just right. We've got really, problems. Yeah, we got problems. I can't work because you know he's training to be a nail tech, and I have the little one, the daycare. I don't have no space for them, you mm -hmm. know, and all that. So. <laughs> and I can leave her by herself, you yeah. know. I have others who will listen when I need to talk about my problems. No. When I'm lonely, there are several people I can talk to. No. I would have no idea where to turn if my family needed food or housing. Well, that's not like, um, I... So if you agree with that, that means you know, if you guys needed help, you would not know where to go. If you I, it's like neutral, okay. I mean, neutral, yeah. I would not know where to go for help if I had trouble making ends meet. That's like, you know, I uh, mostly agree. Okay. If there is a crisis, I have others I can talk to. Well, I can talk to you now. <laughs> no, let's put it neutral. Okay. If I needed help finding a job, I would not know where to go for help. Okay. Okay. Last page for this one. There are many times when I don't know what to do as a parent. Uh, mostly agree. I'm learning. I, sure. I just want to be a good dad. Yeah, and that's a great quality. That's a good place to start. I know how to help my child learn. I mostly agree. My child misbehaves just to upset me. I, you saw, you saw her. I agree. I mostly agree. Okay. I praise my child when he or she behaves well. I always. Yeah. Okay. When I discipline my child, I lose control. I strongly disagree. I am happy being with my child. I always. Okay. My child and I are very close to each other. I, I I always I think so. Okay. <laughs> he yells at me, but you know, he's good. I'm able to soothe my child when he or she is upset. About half of the time. Okay. I spend time with my child doing what he or she likes to do. Always. Okay. That's good for that one. The last thing I'm gonna do with you today is get um, an assessment of who is in your life. Um, let's see, P-R-U-O-N-G, is that right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so obviously there's you. What is your wife's name? My wife's name is Nu, N-U. Okay. Her last name is Train. Oh, we're, we're okay. good. Um, is there anybody else that you guys have that is a support to you? Uh, so, well, my brother, at first he was, he wanted, he helped get us a place to live and all that, mm -hmm. but now they came tired of it and they keep calling me a loser mm -hmm. and you know, and all that, so they, they're not much help anymore, you okay. know. They, they think that I, capable, you know. My sister said I should be neuter. Mm, I'm so sorry. That's a, a really 
hard thing to say to someone. Yeah, especially when, you know, she's your own sister, you know, and... Yeah, um, I'm going to make a note for both of these that it's not so much anymore, but they were a support to you. No, my sister never supported okay, me. Okay. She just she just said that I need to be a loser. Mm, okay. One one time when my wife was over here because my daughter just came over here like uh, one year ago. She's three now, so it's two years her, her mom was taking care of her back then in Vietnam, and I was <coughs> I was staying with my sister after I got out of the the Chapman home, the shelter. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to make, you know, I was trying to do all the paperwork to get her here, mm -hmm. the immigration paperwork, and it took all my money. And I was staying with her, and one day, she she's addicted to, uh, what do you call those, uh, pain okay. medication, okay. opioids. Mm -hmm. And she said that if I jump off the balcony, she would take care of my, my baby. She keeps telling me to kill myself. So I thought, you know, that's too toxic for me. And I, like I said, I never think about harming myself or any of my kids and all that. And when I called, I, I got, someone gave me the, the phone number, Hope Florida. And I told them, and they asked me, I said I was, because, you know, I was all really stressful and depressed. And I told them that. I need help financially. I'm not making, you know, my 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 wife happy or my my family happy. I, I don't know how to support them, you know. And I'm very depressed. I hear voices because I, I I'm, you know, I'm on SSI and mm -hmm. and sometimes I hear voices and I tell them, you know, I was I said that my when my I thought my I told them that my wife was cheating with ET extraterrestrial, oh. you know, mm -hmm. and that my, my baby, when she cried, she was, you know, she was uh, spitting out acid and all that. It was like, you know, I was hallucinating, you mm -hmm. know, because I was so depressed and all that, and uh, I was off my medication. Mm -hmm. And when the police came, they let me go and take my, my daughter from daycare, and somehow they start saying that I wanted to harm my daughter and, and all that. So they took me to the South Mental Hospital and they lied to them. They said that I wanted to hurt my children. I said, I never want to hurt my children, you know? Mm -hmm. And they make an act to me for three days. Mm -hmm. And they make an act to me. You know, they put me in handcuffs right in front of Avery. That's why she don't look like strangers. Yeah, that makes sense. And I, at that time, my mom was here trying to help me uh, take care of the baby, you know, Emily. And when she saw that, she went back to my sister. Mm -hmm. I just need to need some help to get back on my feet. That's all. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just like, I mean, I have a lot of, and. I just, because, you know, I mean, when I have SSI, when I work, you know, they subtract the money, you know. Yeah. I have to make a lot more for them to subtract, because I only get like $914 a month. And this, the rent of this place is 2600 So I have to do like odd job, but now I can't do it no more because my daughter, you know, cut grass, clean houses after they have a party and all that, you know, I do to get like cash and, you know, and every, every place that I try to, you know, try to get help from, you know, they want proof of where I work and a lot of these people, they won't hire me if I, yeah. if I, you know, do that. So, you know, I mean, it's so hard now. My, my wife is trying to uh, learn how to do nails and all that. So we're just going to make a little income, you know. Mm -hmm. And my brother had just died, so he helped out in the rent, yeah. so we got like 1800 and you know, it's still, it's still hard though. It's so, it's, it's so hard because there's the, the utility and the water, the gas and electricity. Okay, so <coughs> here's what comes next. Um, 
from here, Susanna is going to do another visit with you, and that's where she's going to list out all the things that you want her to help you with. Okay. And I can tell you from previous clients, typically we have been able to help with financial assistance under $500. Mm -hmm. We have been able to give resources for programs that help with rental assistance. Um, we have resources for places where you can get free grocery pickup. You don't have to prove you're a citizen or anything like that. You just go pick it up. We have resources to pick up diapers, clothes, bottles, any sort of like child need thing. Yeah. Um, we've got resources to refer for therapy. Um, we've got access to a lot of things. Um, and then there is one place in Jupiter that I know of that does offer work to people who may not have um, citizenship. Mm -hmm. If that is something that you'd be interested in, we can see if that'd be a good fit for you. But I'm, I'm, I'm a citizen. Okay, okay. So what is the paperwork that is difficult? Well, she hasn't gotten her green card. Okay. And, um, and like I said, uh, the thing is, the difficult thing is if I work and I, 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 I pay taxes, they deduct the money, you know, I need to make more than what they're giving me because right. you know let me see they take forty dollars off first then whatever I make they they divide it by half right. and they subtract that right and pretty soon you know I I make as much money as I receive in SSI yeah so it's kind of ridiculous for me to go to work you know what I'm saying yeah that makes sense that's that's why I have to go and make cash because you know. There's no way I'm going to be able to pay for the rent. I'm already missing out three months in rent already. You know, yeah. the landlord wants to uh, kick us out and all that. You know, and where, where's my, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I, I could sleep on the street, but you know, my children is so young. Yeah. How, how, how are they going to survive? And my, my wife, she don't speak any English. So, you know, and no one is helping us out, you know, so yeah. we're like stuck, you know, yeah. I can't work. You know, and she don't speak any word of English and all that. You know, way later. And my brother, you know, he's sick. You know, but he, he's a good person. You yeah. know, and all that. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help so many. It's a lot I of just, pressure. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, I, it's a lot. I, I just I don't know what to do. I, you know, I just I'm just stuck. Yeah. Well, I'm hopeful that we can support some of those needs and whatever we don't have direct access to we'll look into other other things that maybe we can try okay. it'll be a a collaboration you know we'll, we'll give you what we know and if that's not working then we'll find something else yeah i'm willing to try anything i just want them to be stable and you know not to worry about anything you know yeah. i'd rather it be on me you know i'd rather take on all the responsibility mm -hmm. and all that yeah. Because my children are too young and all that, you know. Yeah. Well, um, you have Susanna's number. I'm going to let her know that you did the intake and that um, she can schedule a follow-up so that way y'all can get down to business and see what mm -hmm. exactly, you know, the areas you want to help with. Um, but I, I appreciate you letting me come out and meet you. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Thank kids you. are so cute. Yeah, but the, the older one is kind of mean. Oh, I'm she, sorry for her screaming at you oh, like that. No. No. She's a kid. I expect that kind of behavior. It, there's nothing to apologize for. She screams at me all the time. They tend to do that at that age. Yeah. All right, thank you. Well, thank you. You have a good rest of your night. You too.